It got started in 1927, um, and and it was um, a, a, um, a kind of a, an amateurish operation, I believe, at the beginning. But it um, took roots and uh, became an institution in this area. The interesting thing about the Bantam Cinema, the original projector came from the ball bearing uh, factory here in Bantam. And what I thought was interesting about that is the reason that they had it is that because Bantam was such a small town and there was no other towns nearby that had amusements for their staff, they would actually have a room, like a recreation room for their staff, families, kids, everything. And they would show moving pictures is what they called it then. Some of them were silent films. And so um, I think that part of the history is the most exciting part to me. Then when the factory moved to Indiana, um, that's when, um, I think that's when Dominic Evangelisti bought it, bought the equipment, and then actually formed the cinema. Um, it has been running continuously um, for um, over, well, let's say 1927 until now, uh, almost 100 years, but not quite. The Great Depression affected everybody, and um, Bantam especially, it was a working community um, the factories here and the, uh, the, the people um, probably went through a great deal of hardship, but film was an outlet and uh, many people used it as, as um, a getaway. There was a tornado in Bantam that really devastated um, the town, it really destroyed um, a lot of historical documents and plans. The people here say the height of the storm lasted only two and a half minutes, but the destruction is still difficult to comprehend. Businesses like this one were totally demolished. Three people were trapped under tons of wreckage in the basement of what had been their home. Miraculously, they survived. It was probably one of the most defining moments of our youth, I think, as um, you know, residents in the area because it really shut down. The cinema was not affected, but it, um, the roads were closed uh, for days um, because of trees uh, being down and so forth. So um, it may have, it probably did have to close at that time. I would say the biggest challenge was um, probably COVID for us, um, you know, I, the theater had to sh shut. And the tricky thing with COVID specifically for the Bantam Cinema is that it's a small theater, two rooms. So when the first COVID restrictions came out, there wasn't the ability to even be open because you had to be six feet apart, no, you know, no more than two, you know, so we would have had four people in the room, you know, essentially. COVID at the time was devastating, but it actually did, without COVID, it might not have ever been turned into a nonprofit. And I really think the future of the cinema is is through a nonprofit because um, the, the movies, people, you know, movie makers, I guess, make a lot of money and some actors, and but the cinemas don't make a lot of money. I mean, you think about the ticket you're paying for, half of that's going to the movie studios and the cinema's only getting getting half. Um, so you, we really have to rely on grants. The most recent owner prior to us was a gentleman named Sydney. We sadly had a global pandemic. And when that happened in March of 2020, Sydney decided that he was going to shut down the cinema. And so everyone on the cinema mailing list, which I've been a part of since whenever they first started it, got an email, a very in, sort of impassioned one page email that said, cinema's going to be gonzo, trying to find somebody else to buy it. But since the globe is trying to figure out what we're going to do next, a movie theater is not necessarily the priority. I think in a lot of ways, we're really fortunate, which I know sounds weird that COVID happened, uh, because it kind of gave us the ability to give Bantam new life. And when I say that, I mean, we were able to add another arm to the cinema. So something that the cinema was always known for was independent films, you know, small releases, that sort of thing. And we were able to bring the arts world into 
the not-for-profit when we opened it, which basically gave us the ability to have, um, you know, musical acts here, poetry readings, uh, theater, that sort of stuff, which we'd never done before. Um, and I th maybe also it developed an appreciation among the townspeople for um, having it uh, continue because its absence uh, was a great loss. This summer, we pivoted and, you know, we showed Barbie, we showed Oppenheimer, um, Wes Anderson films. So we've had to um, kind of show some of those bigger films, but we choose them very carefully. In general, uh, uh, Bantam has had to reform itself and it has done so quite successfully. It is now becoming a center for the arts. There are a number of, of um, small businesses and studios that have opened here, and it is becoming a, a draw for um, tourists and locals alike. So I think for me, what, when I look at our mission, it's to be a place where we give people great memories, um, and we give people an edu you know, educational um, opportunities to learn about history, to learn about culture, to show films that really make people think and, and things that people want to, to talk about. The biggest job that we have with Phantom Cinema is preserving the building. Um, we have lots of ideas and hopes for the future for the building and we just really want to make sure that it stays the test of time. We want to have it another hundred years and more. When we formed a nonprofit, our we really wanted the community to know that nobody owns a nonprofit. So a nonprofit belongs to the community and that's where, where we feel this is everybody's story. The history of the cinema belongs to all of us. Everything that I have found that, I, that has happened around the Bantam Cinema has like this like tiny hint of magic in, in it. And I think that's part of like the whole step into our story, which is this tagline that we spent probably way too many hours figuring out, uh, is what I think is most special about it. And we want people to feel exactly that. You are the cinema, you are the story. And we want this cinema to last for our children and grandchildren, so, we are the legacy. We all together, we're working on this legacy theater that our all the future generations can be part of. So we do, we ask our community to step into our story, support the cinema so it can be around for generations to come.